Jazz, nice and proud of the still Zimbabwe, able to get some daylight. Then how's that for pace from Dariqua? Lovely ball on the super chance. It's battled over in the end. The perfect start, right on the minute mark. It's Zimbabwe that opened the scoring. Guess who? Come up, Elliot. Like they say, wow. <laughs> wow. I can say that again, Brian Martin. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Tonight, Dariqua with the work down on this near side. Unbelievable. Yeah, the pace. This is the opener, yeah? Yeah. And Tariqua. The pace and set it up nicely for Knox and Tiza. Miscued the ball. Right back here. Look at the pace. The quality ball that he plays, the options he had in the box. The goalkeeper did not do good about it. But hey, it is Kama Billiard who converts in the end. It was the, the Knox man who attempted to get it in. But in the end. It was Kama Billiard, he who plays for Chiefs in South Africa. Makuru Kutu. Kama Billiard. A good start for Zimbabwe. Perfect start for Zimbabwe. It's just about on the minute mark, exactly. They banned my blow. Yeah. What is it? looked a uh, good idea, a good spot, but the ball wasn't quite matching of the idea. Now, is uh, Zimbabwe. With Billiat, scored some early goals. By early goals, I mean between the 15th and 30th minutes. That's when they usually do the. Think he got the elbow or the knee. Come on, Billiat. Yeah, it is come on, Billiat. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a knee check on him. Because I did tell you that uh, the defenders don't like, the big boys don't like a, a striker who's full of mobility. And he is full of mobility alongside Knox Mutizo. Led by the number 10, Ovidi Karuru. Much improved start to a campaign. Keep in mind he would have made a name for himself out there to ask Cape Town as a teenager still. Get into the referee there. So somehow you've got to protect me. He's going to find it tough. Right at the bottom of the spine, the lower back. That, that hurts. 28 year old Kaiser. The away of AFCON qualifiers, one in World Cup qualification. By the way, he has now scored against both Congo. Looks to put together a few passes out to that far side with the overlapping run. There should be a foul. Attention is be forced from time to time to drift into the midfield. Carrying forward as we've seen him do, and going backwards in order to move forward. Good hard running on that far side, it's coming behind that defense, and selfish, beautiful. We thought so too, was he offside? Who was offside there? Was it Kama Billiard? I think he raised the flag long before, I, I don't think Knox Mutizo was off. Oh, keeps it alive then, ball in towards Kama Billiard, will do well to serve it back across. Ball kick is the call in the end. Who are watching this, please don't move until half time because one on one I saw him struggling against Knox Mutiza. Mm, Billiards shakes it up. Finds which uh, will be something maybe many South Africans have seen playing club football in South Africa aren't used to. Used to him operating on wide. Good battle. The likes of Billiards are certainly not allowing the uh, big defenders. Look at how he stands his ground and how I mentioned the penalty. Top Wonderful. men certainly doing their part. Pull in. Good delivery. Just needed someone to get to the end of that one. Didn't play it with power. It was more like dropping it in there for anyone to take it. Look at his frame, but how brave he is to just <laughs> in front of the big boys. This isn't working, not functioning for the time being. Thanks to a nice drop of the shoulder. Got over the uh, physical stuff. Is it Kama again? Or is it uh, Knox Mutizo? Not too sure. I thought it was Kama initially. Yeah. But, uh, you may be right, it could be Knox. It was frustrating. It's actually it is Kama Pilar. Mm -hmm. It just does any challenge. Lightweight against the heavyweight. <laughs> he doesn't shy away from that. Ndama going in hard on uh, Kama Billiard on that occasion. There's someone to be patched up here. It's Kama Billiard. 
And I think there's a huge lump at the back. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Swelling up. Doesn't look good. The uh, DRC really for being able to find and force the error that led to the equalizer. Zimbabwean defense has helped them. Can see can fall for the DRC on that occasion with uh, Bakambu hoping to hold it up now. The clearance will definitely fall for Kamapiliat. The recovery of So it's a DRC team that's gotten better and better in the conditions here against Zimbabwe. We'll open the scoring through Kamapiliat in the first minute of action on the 20.